When ordering a TSI VelociCalc air velocity meter, you have the choice of two models, model 8386 or model 9535. The main difference between the two models is that the 9535 cannot be used in a continuous survey mode, only single point data logging is available. When you first receive the shipment, confirm you have received everything you ordered. You should have the correct number of units, probe, calibration certificate, extra batteries, CD software, instruction manual, USB converter cable, and data log cable. On model 8386, you will receive tubing and a stand. When unpacking the rental instrument, be sure to save all packing material and the original shipping box. The outside of this box will contain the prepaid return shipping label and resealing tape you will need to ship the items back. For single point data log survey on model 9535, turn the unit on and let it go through its diagnostics check. Then push the center left arrow button. When the sample is taken, hit save and move on to the next point and repeat until the survey is complete. The model 8386 will arrive as you requested, either in continuous mode or single point. Turn the unit on and let it go through its diagnostics. The unit is then ready to collect data. As with the model 9535, only two of three parameters will be shown on the unit's screen. To start the survey, hit sample and log. Readings are taken for one minute and then averaged for the data point and logged. You can use setup in a static mode with the stand or handheld moving from location to location. To end the survey, hit sample again. Data can be downloaded and a report printed by Galson or by you. If you want Galson to do this, just repack everything and send back with instructions for us to download the data for you. To download the data yourself on both models, install the CD software on the PC, then connect the data log cable with or without the USB conversion cable. Open up the software and click download. The 9535 unit software will recognize the instrument. You will have to select the unit for the 8386 model. Choose the location and name of the file you will be saving. Choose the communication port and baud rate of 9600. Click OK and save. For model 9535, click download and all when down, hit save and close. You can now open and print the report. For model 8386, push and hold the enter button for five seconds and release. Data is now being transferred. Click Finish Downloading and quit. You can now open and print the report. When done, close out, remove the CD software, disconnect the unit, and repack and ship back to the lab. Tip. When returning rental items, repack in the same manner you received them, reusing the original shipping box and packing material. Remove the Ziploc pouch labeled Return Shipping Material. Use the resealing tape strip to reseal the box for shipment. Peel the return shipping label and adhere it to the outside of the box. Both models come with fresh batteries that last approximately 20 hours. To change batteries, open the battery cover, remove and replace the batteries. An AC adapter is also available upon request for longer sampling times. Questions? Contact Galson Laboratories by phone, email, or IH Live Chat. You may also access our extensive library of other helpful videos at galsonlabs.com. Thank you.